the compressed airflow is malfunctioning in this actros. This results in poor emission values. Replace the internal pressure reduction valve on the pump module. Don't forget to wear safety glasses and gloves. First, unscrew the air pressure line. Use a pair of snips to cut the cable ties holding the AdBlue lines. Pull the AdBlue supply line off the inlet nozzle. You'll need these three locking pieces for the next step. Assemble the first locking piece in accordance with these instructions. Use the locking piece to close the AdBlue supply line. This is the number for the assembly instructions for the second locking piece. Use this locking piece to close the AdBlue inlet nozzle. And here's the third locking piece. This is the locking piece for the AdBlue return line. Here are all three locking pieces. On the AdBlue supply line, the AdBlue inlet nozzle and the AdBlue return line. Then unscrew the sleeve nuts on the valve screw bushing. Use a suitable bolt to remove the internal pressure reduction valve. Screw the bolt into the valve until you feel resistance. Then use a pair of pliers to pull out the bolt and the valve. Now you have the new valve. When removing the valve, also pay attention to the axial O-ring. In our case, the ring has remained attached to the rear side of the screw bushing. Lubricate the O-ring on the valve with a thin coating of silicone grease. Important! Make sure that the boreholes on the valve are not coated with lubricant. Now it's back to the vehicle with the greased valve. Clean the borehole and the thread on the pump module with a cloth free of lint. Now install the new valve. The reinstallation takes place in the reverse order. Make sure to use the torque of 5 Newton meters for the screw bushing. Also tighten the air pressure line to 5 Newton meters. Clean the entire pump module with water to remove the AdBlue residue. Now it's back on the road with optimal exhaust emission values.